think you should be Hey, how's it going guys? This is Pablo back with another video. I know this is the back-to-back -back videos. I kind of uh, randomly post videos up, but I thought I'd do a follow-up on yesterday's uh, video on the cyano outbreak I've been having. So what I did to the reef today is I ended up siphoning the sand bed, and that's why you see the sand bed a little bit wider. It ended up pulling up some of the old sand underneath the Hawaiian black, which is the Indo-Pacific, which is black and white. So I ended up siphoning out the cyano that way. I also did a scrubbing. I took this toothbrush right here, just any old little toothbrush. Uh, I mean, try to use one that was never used so you don't have the toothpaste and whatever the toothpaste contains going in there and scrubbing. So I did end up picking up some of the corals up off of the sand bed and scrubbing them with the toothbrush to get some of that cyano and the algae off. I did turn up the gyre all the way up and um, I actually ended up breaking up one of the fins. It ended up blowing so hard it sucked up one of the rocks. It went in there and broke up, broke off a fin. So I had to get on to the Coral View website and order the new updated, more rugged fins. I'll go ahead and do a follow up on that when I do get them. So back to the reef. As you can see, it looks very, very clean. And wow, what a, a difference a day makes. Um, but you can see probably within the next two to three days, the cyano will kind of come back. I've dealt with this issue before. I just got to stay on top of the maintenance. So along with siphoning the sand bed, like I said before, I ended up changing out 20 gallons worth of water. Uh, I'm going to try to do maybe a, a water change every two or every three days and see how it goes. I have um, uh, a bunch of salt in the garage. I still have a bunch of that coral life left and then what I ended up doing with the other salts that I um, purchased to do the salt comparison from Aquaforce and Fritz RPM Pro, I dumped it all in with the coral life and mixed it up and that's what I ended up doing with all the other salts when I got done making the videos. So as you can see everything's looking nice and clean. I'll go ahead and uh, dismount the camera off of the tripod and get you a close up of the reef. The Kessels are on pretty bright because this is like my recording uh, setting on my Kessels. I have a, a setting to where it just it's fairly white so it comes out better on the camera. And I left the Kessels on also the gyre so you guys can see somewhat of the shimmer effect. And as you can see I'm filming with my uh, Vixia camera. What is this? Uh, Canon? Let me, let me check. <laughs> yep, Canon Vixia. I ended up filming with the GoPro yesterday. I thought I'd give it a try uh, for the aquarium. Now for other activities, the GoPro is real good. However, it needs a lot of ambient lighting. And that's why you can see that the video from yesterday was pretty dark. So I came back to the Vixia, which records real, real good. So here we go, some of the corals that I scrubbed. I'm sorry, I do not know the names of all of these coral. I know some of them, my favorites, are the Montiporas, the Bird's Nest, and some of the ones I really don't like are the ones that I also know, these mushrooms. But uh, I just kind of go to the aquarium, um, to the LFS, and I just, whatever coral looks nice is kind of what I pick out. Sorry, I'm not all into uh, learning the names of the coral. It's not my thing. I just like the way they look. So you can see the bases uh, of the rock. You can still see some algae. I did give it a pretty good scrubbing. And I'll try to do that once a week. Until the cyano goes away. And as you can see the gyre is running pretty good. I gave that a vinegar soaking ab about a week or two ago. Have that on a time schedule like I said yesterday. There's my Gorgonian, some of the frog spawn that ended up breaking off of this main cluster over here. I might have to end up moving that galaxy coral from the back. It used to be like one of the most uh, interesting uh, coral pieces I had when I had my Red Sea Max 250. Now, I'll also go ahead and come down and then touch up on this uh, new skimmer I got. As you guys know, 
and I kind of don't like this about me is man I've been through so many skimmers within the last couple of years trying to look for perfection while my damn dogs are barking perfect timing and um, so I ended up settling on the simplicity it is super super quiet now I did run like I said on the video yesterday I did run my other skimmers on DC pumps excuse the movement I'm gonna go ahead and squat so we could uh, do the review on this uh, skimmer so far well after four days worth the collection cup was about halfway full I mean I'm really really uh, <laughs> surprised by this skimmer it did get somewhat mixed reviews when I was doing some research on it before I purchase anything I do a lot of research on it I do not like wasting 300 plus dollars on um, on items that end up not working and then even so I end up buying a whole bunch of different stuff because I don't like the reviews that I see they're not as in-depth as I, I would expect and uh, sometimes you know people are sponsored on some of these forums or on some of the videos they post on YouTube I'm not sponsored by anybody so going back to the skimmer I did want to get an RLSS R6 or R8i and um, so I did contact RLSS for those of you that don't know, the, the company is located in Canada. Come to find out that the skimmers are made in China. Now, uh, so I went back and forth with uh, the guy from RLSS. And, uh, you know, I told him, hey, you know what? My biggest mistake was selling my RLSS R6i. I've been through so many other skimmers. That's been the best skimmer I've owned so far. And um, it has been. However, the customer support is not that good. I mean, I'm not going to knock the guy for being rude. He was not rude. He was very, very nice. However, it's just kind of like the runaround. Oh, the guy told me, I send the skimmers out to CoralView. CoralView is our distributor. You know, I try to look on CoralView website. All they have are the Waveline pumps, no skimmers. Um, they've been sold out for the past couple of years. And I just think that they're running the business in not a very smart way because I have been raving about those skimmers and I could tell that many people have been looking for them yet they're never available so um, this guy told me that the skimmers were a couple of weeks out that they're in China they've um, they're using new controllers and all that other stuff and in the meantime I started doing research on other DC skimmers well I got on the Simplicity website and they provided a phone number and right away uh, what really surprised me is I called phone ringed a couple times and I spoke to an actual person I didn't have to send an email or leave a voicemail to get a call back this person answered the phone I'm sorry I don't remember the guy's name very very nice you know um, I did my research before I know what the skimmers are capable of and what pumps that they're running in them they do look very very similar to Jibao the guy did say that they're their own brand pumps however the controls and the pump it looks exactly the same as you can see the that's a DCT 6000 that I used to run the the other skimmers so the guy was very helpful um, he told me uh, different stores that sold the skimmer around my area and more than anything I was just doing research on their customer service I asked them how hard it was to get replacement parts for them you know um, on, on these skimmers whenever there's updates the pumps become obsolete uh, the impellers are very hard to get uh, as some people on, on Reef Central and other forums you know good luck finding a RLSS replacement uh, impeller you know like I said if it's hard enough to get a skimmer which is a big ticket item now imagine a impeller so this guy's like yeah we have a bunch of impellers we're, we're located here stateside we can ship them out to you so you know like I said already knowing uh, a bunch of the questions I was asking just kinda uh, trying to do some research on their customer support and you know what very impressed so I said you know what I'm gonna go out and get this this skimmer based off of you know that experience with um, you know customer service and uh, the way the guy was uh, you know the way, the way the guy treated me so what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and rotate the skimmer so you guys can kind of see the pump compared to the JCOD DCT 6000 now for those of you that haven't didn't see the video yesterday the video from yesterday is um, this model is the 320 DC okay so the pump looks just a little bit smaller but it is very very quiet I am running it on the second setting and the only adjustment I had to do to the skimmer to get it to skim the way I wanted to 
was adjusting the air intake right here. So I ended up, it's it's um the skimmer set, like kind of in the break breaking uh process instructions, it says to put this arrow. I'm sorry if I can't get it on camera because the silencer is kind of in the way. Let me see. There's a little arrow right here that points at another notch and um, that's they tell you to leave it there during the break-in process there it is and um, on the second setting the skimmer was still overflowing my sump depth is nine nine and three quarter inches so what I did is I ended up adjusting the the air intake to get the the skimmer to work and man let me tell you this thing is a beast very impressed very quiet and like I said great customer service I mean it can't get any better and it's stateside I mean it's just, just so difficult whenever you're dealing with with uh, you know companies that are located in other countries um, you know customer service to me goes very very far especially when you're spending 300 plus dollars on, on some of these items and then to not get callbacks and all that other stuff but uh, that's enough on that skimmer Appreciate all the comments I've been getting. When I uploaded the video last night, I got a whole bunch of comments on some of my salt videos and some other stuff. So I really appreciate all of you subscribers, those of you that are new and those of you that have been me um, throughout. Um, I originally started this channel with Classic Cars. For those of you that don't know, I am a big Ford fan. Uh, kind of funny, I was raised on she you know Chevy cars and trucks you know, because of my dad and my grandpa. They all had 60s and 70s um, Chevys. I don't know how I got into Fords, but I love them. So, like I said, the channel started on classic Mustangs. I've actually built a couple of 66s and 65s that you can see on uh, my channel. I built the 289s, the 302 in them. I built a 390 Big Block on my 67 Galaxy. And I'm touching up on this because as of late, um, all I've been doing is reef videos. So. I'm kind of a, a DIYer, so I'm thinking about also um, posting some new vids on, you know, when I do oil changes and when I do some uh, routine maintenance on my truck. I happen to have a 2015 F-150, the one with the aluminum body, Larry at Edition, fully loaded. And also, um, I love guns. Uh, I, I was a firearms instructor in the Marine Corps for my last year. I was a primary marksmanship instructor. And um, I'm also planning on doing some videos possibly on, you know, doing some pistol shooting and uh, some, some long arms that I happen to have. Um, feel free to leave any comments, any suggestions on, uh, on what you guys would like to look at down on the comment section. As you guys know, I try to get back to you as soon as possible. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for now, fellas. You guys take it easy and enjoy the rest of your weekend.